Hi, I'm the Space Quest Historian, and welcome to Dead Secret. Pardon me, Mr. Bird, I'm trying to do an introduction here. For sale, Holmes. <laughs> I just I like the idea of someone just rocking up. It's for sale, Holmes. Um, <laughs> yes, yes, I know, you're both very, very endearing pieces of foul. Uh, now, please, I arrived in this car, it is raining a bit, um, and there's a text floating in the middle of everything, and I'm scared and alone. Please help me. Uh, so I'm kind of getting a sort of VR sense from this game and when I started the game it actually asked me would you like to play this in Steam VR mode and it's like am I wearing a Steam VR headset? No, I'm wearing a pair of shitty headphones that I super glued together. So let's just uh, get into... Well off he fucks then. Cool. And then we shall approach the old farmhouse. On September 25th, 96... Of, sorry, I'll let you ago. read. Nobody believes me, but I think he was murdered. This house oh. in the middle of nowhere holds the secret. There's a story hiding here, and I'm going to cover it. Cool! If I'm right, there are four major suspects. Graham Wellington, Josie Herrera, Cynthia Peckman. All of them look really, really Bobby snotty. Sawyer. Like, it's like, I, mm, I don't want my picture I taken. What happened. Well, uh, stick around then for a bit of a... Oh, well, that's me! Look at the plucky reporter with the arm in a sling, or is that my bag, or... Oh, well. Ah, a piano. An old piano. It is blocking the weight. Well, maybe we should use this thing. I can't lift this stuff with one arm, even using the hand truck. Well, at least she stopped talking at me. This is it! The crime scene! With, um... Uh, these are those Japanese ward of evil kind of things, aren't they? Yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's nice. Uh, so, I'm not gonna go in there just yet. I'm gonna have a look at this, a small parcel tied tightly with twine. I can't open it with my bare hands. You're just completely fucking useless, aren't you, lady? Reclusive prof! Found dead in home, prof. <laughs> prof. His uh, houses for sale, Holmes. Gov K S Harris Bullard, retired college teacher, was found dead in his home Monday. The body was discovered by Bobby Sawyer, who worked part time for Bullard, running odd jobs. A police investigation has concluded that Bullard died of natural causes. So, uh, case closed. We can all go home now. September twenty third, nineteen sixty five. Really? Are we? Uh... Okay. Retired recluse found dead in the study. Police ruled death natural. Bobby Sawyer ran er errands for Bullet, found the body. Josie Reris is Bullet's live-in assistant, and timid yet sexy in a way. Cynthia Peckham, ex-wife, not sexy in any way, uh, has uh, something up her nose. Inheritor of Bullet's estate. Graham Wellington, uh, tastes great with rice, uh, and also a former colleague of Bullet. Uh, of no interest whatsoever. This drawer is missing its knob. I can't open it. Why did we cripple ourselves before we got here? I mean, shit. Ah, small key. Objectives, investigate the crime scene. I am doing that. Well, technically, no. I'm just trying to shift the piano at this point. But uh, I will, at some point, be investigating the cr Okay, fine. The small key unlocked the door! Did that just open on its own? Because that creeps me the shit out. Also, why are they... Um, they don't actually draw chalk outlines, do they? Although I do like the, the rain sounds and the... Uh, well, the ambience is very nice, I have to admit. Uh, and no points. I see the paper under the uh, cushion here. There's a page from a manuscript here. The man who could see with his skin. In t 1926, I met a man who could see with his skin. His eyes were sealed with wax and bandage, yet he remained aware of the room around him. We held up signs which he read, and fingers which he counted, and slapped him which he felt. Even when we stood behind him, just slapping at the... 
After the performance, I gave him $200 for the secret. He explained that he could see as long as some part of his skin remained exposed to the air. He described it as a shift in the wind or a slight breeze on his face. The subtle motion of the, of the hair on his arm. How does that enable you to read signs? Alright, fine. He's a master at it. After years of focus and practice, he had developed the ability to form a mental image of his surroundings based only on these slight sensations. This man had achieved a form of idiophocus. Granted, he only had access to a very narrow range of sensory information, but the result was powerful. I immediately resolved to discover the secret of his ability. Now, almost four decades later, wearing a blindfold for four decades, I am very close, I have many bruises on my skin, I stumble over furniture at every point, even taking a piss is an arduous task, but I am very close. There's a news clip, clip, newspaper clipping here. It reads, Isla's Joe found dead in hotel. Weird. Not that weird, really, but that's... Oh, fuck it. Let's just lift some more cushions. We are the cushion lifters. The cushions are not interesting anymore. Ooh, it's a record player. There's no record inside. Well, we shall have a look about that, shall we? Picture of a woman. She looks lonely. And also, she has no face. Why, why don't? Why aren't we commenting on? Okay, actually, there's kind of a face. Regular lamp. Yo, something is after me. It's creeping around the house, trying to get in. I'm sure of it. I heard footsteps outside and creaking on the roof. It's not safe here. I've taken taken the ID ideofocal lenses from their normal location and hidden them in my study. Oh good, it's a hidden object game. Um, I've sent you a package that you'll know what to do with. Check the map for the mask. As usual, X marks the spot. Harris, the sequence is west, east, north. Oh good, it's one of those games. <clears throat> Check the map for the mask. Bullard hit something in this room. Very suspicious. This will be a great hook for my opening paragraph. Well, this mask immediately caught my eye when I went in. It's, uh... Did anyone ever play Project Zero? It's got it's got kind of that. Whoa, what the fuck was that? A bird. It was a bird. Stop being creeped out by nothing. It's a note with a foreign symbol on it. Underneath it reads North. Um, so that has a bit of a, a Project Zero vibe to it. But most of this game has one of those, you know, escape the room kind of vibes to it. Um, I have a feeling that... Oh, I can look at it. It kind of feels like they're looking at me. What did they see in this room? Oh, what did they see? Maybe they're Japanese. No, they are definitely Japanese. Well, they're looking at the old the the, la the lady over here, uh, who is sad that her record player is missing a record. It's just a diploma. It does nothing. The TV doesn't turn on. Um. All right, maybe I should have a look at the amazing auto-opening um, cupboard here, which contains a tiny camera lens. Well, it did say he hid lenses plural. That's not a very good hiding place. Maybe the other one is just in his cereal box or something. Uh, I've never seen a map laid out like this. There's a spot with an X marked on it on a butterfly kind of thing. So on the left wing of the butterfly, um, can't quite see what the... Um, well, I, I suppose this is North America and that's South America. Well, actually, this is... Okay, what the hell is this then? Fuck it, I'm a whale biologist. I'm not a geographist. Um, hey, there's another lens. It's just hiding out in plain sight. It's another lens. I found two of them now. How many are there? Actually, that's a... I, I feel a, a, a question we should be asking. Oh good, another manuscript. Harris Bullard. I am Woodcutter. Your past has caught up with you. It is over. What is this? Who's Woodcutter? That's a good question. Woodcutter is threatening Bullard with bad grammar. In intriguing. I oh, and a pair of scissors, no less. I can use these to cut that package in the other room. Yes, and we needed a close-up of scissors. Cool. Let's go and do that then. Now that the protagonist is basically telling us that's what we're supposed to do. I was half expecting a jump scare.
And here it comes. Hey, fucking hell! I hate it when they do that. Gets me every... Look, it, look, it fucking got me. Um, <laughs> this is uh, clearly not visible on camera, but that fucking got me. Um, press B or right mouse button for inventory. Do I have to do an inventory thing now? Oh, Jesus, the inventory is floating all around me. Okay, now I can use the si I didn't have to use the scissors to cut open the, um, uh, to cut open the door. Uh, whatever. Tell book, it says quite on on the cover, whatever that means. The author is Lovecardio Hearn. Um, we've heard that name before, haven't we? Oh, good, the TV is on. Also, who is... What is pounding the window? Don't do that. That was not that wasn't a jump scare or did I miss the jump scare? Anyway, the uh Quadio Hearn thing was uh let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, the, yeah, here here it is. I I I skipped this one uh cuz I just picked it up from the bookshelf and thought, "Okay, that's it. That's it." Uh boring ass story, but uh, the Snow Woman adapted from an original translation by Lefkato Hearn is a story about a person who uh, goes with his dad or something 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 uh, a Snow Woman who um, turns into his wife and uh, something life is forfeit apparently. The Snow Woman is not a nice person. I am interested in this TV now. So Lefkato Hearn is that's weird, I could have sworn the TV was off before. Really? Really? You think? Hey, how you doing, Snow Woman? You piece of shit, stop following me around. And, uh, there's really- Oh, wait, hey, hey, hello. Hello. Oh, cheers. All I had to do was just pixel hunt it a bit. It's a small box. Let's get a better look at it on the desk. And son of a bitch. <laughs> One of the buttons is missing. Okay, so, well, the that one is north. So I, I would assume that, uh... Wait, hang on, hang on a tick. Oh, wait, that one is north. You see? That says north, that one is north. So we've got north, west, east, and south. And... Ah, uh, what was that? That document told me the combination. The sequence is West, East, North. Well, that is awesome because um, East, the button for East is fucking missing. Great. You wouldn't have just, uh, you know, like dropped the fucking button in here somewhere under this fancy cushion or some shit. Anything, please? I can't even look on top of the bookcase. But apparently, once I move in, it tells me to use my inventory. These books are by the same author. It looks like one of them is missing. Well, I did pick up the book. So we might as well stick that one in there. I can't push the book all the way back. Feels like it's hitting something. Wait, there's something jammed way back in there. It's a flat triangular wedge. There's some sort of foreign writing on it. Ah, oh, thanks. West, east, north. Ah! You look fucking creepy! I see, the lenses fit into the mask's eye sockets. It's like a pair of weird goggles. Excellent! I need that for my super battery. Um, and we just fucking put them on. Please, please, please don't tell... Hi! I... Who was that? Also, I almost missed the jump scare because I was I was thinking that painting's gonna come alive, and I uh, wasn't expecting creepy devil piss bitch to sit over there on the couch just having a merry little jig. Kind of feels like they were looking at me. What did they see in this room? Well, they saw the fucking dude in the fucking couch. What do you think they saw? Can I go through this now? No. Wait 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 wait. What the hell is that? Why is that thing glowing? I didn't see that. Is there something more to this painting? I think there might be. There was a page taped to the back. 
Josie, if you're reading this note, then something must have happened to me. I may be dead or missing. If so, you're the only person who can save our research. The truth is I'm being threatened. It started before I left college. I get notes every few months from someone calling himself Woodcutter. What he wants is access to our research. He wants me to turn over our plans for the Lunar Dream Apparatus. What in the shit was this dude up to? Josie, my life is in danger. Woodcutter knows things, secret things about my past that nobody should know. <laughs> oh, the things. The things I am concocting in my head. You don't want to know anything about them. I will not yield to simple blackmail, despite whatever photographs of me strapped into um, a thing uh, that he might have. But lately, the threats have escalated. I am sure that I'm being watched at the house. I sometimes hear things on the other side of the wall. Yesterday, with the mask on, I thought I saw somebody reaching for me. It's a warning from my subconscious. I am no longer safe here. I've locked our research away in the safe upstairs. I want you to retrieve it and leave. Destroy everything before you go. Burn the house down if you have to. Burn them all! Just get the research and get out of here. Head for a big city where it's easy to hide. I'm counting on you, Joe. Don't let our work fall into their hands. Harris. Okay. So... She was ordered by Bullet to destroy the research and get the fuck out of Dodge. I knew there was more to the story. Whatever Bullet was mixed up in, I bet there's evidence in that safe. My hunch was right. Bullet's death is definitely fishy. Better stop and review my notes. Harris's body... Harris Bullet's body was found by... Um... That... That dude. That Bobby Sawyer. Yeah. Is it? Is it? actually quizzing me right now. Bobby ran odd jobs for Bullet. Could he have done it? He certainly had the opportunity. I don't think so. Bullet was scared. He was worried about losing uh, his secret research. Why is this thing multiple choice quizzing me right now? Blackmail. I knew this would be a scoop. Someone wanted Bullet's research. He must have been killed for you. Black Bullet was being blackmailed by Woodcutter. Is it just checking if I fucking paid attention? Woodcutter. What is that supposed to mean? This is the kind of juicy detail I came here to find. Blank page. Okay, to sell this story, I need some real evidence. Let's go and check out that safe upstairs. Hi. Anyone? Hello? No? Good. I'ma leave. Dun, 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 dun. Now I'm just gonna pause here at the bottom of the stairs, just to see if any ghosts are planning on walking around. No? Anyone? Um, uh, I saw that. Did anyone see that? I saw that. Yep, you, you can't hide. Left or right? I don't know. Let me ask the uh, gorilla mask. Anyone? Hello? No? Left or right? Left or right? I'm gonna go left. Left is good. Ah, there's an electric guitar in here. Cool. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> excellent. What do we have here? Dear Diary, today is an anniversary. It was five years ago that I found Dad's name on an old research paper at the UFC. He had written it in 1933, eight years before I was born. I didn't know he had gone to college. I never really thought about his life. He was just a name on my birth certificate. Dad ran on a mama after the... Oh, your fucking life story, please. He had gone off to fight and death hound and da crying at the kitchen table. Life went on. Mama died. Yeah, I used to hate him. Hated the idea. But when I found his name in the library, deadbeat dads don't study physics, do they? <laughs> Some do. Uh, is he married to someone else? I traced him to Kansas, but finding him is taking longer than I expected. Okay, so Josie Herrera came to Kansas to look for her father, who was secretly uh, Profi Profi. Yeah, cool. Uh, what? You're not going to piece that together yourself? Excellent. All right, so th this must be Josie's room. And this... Something is holding the lid closed. There's a small dial on the front. Hello. Oh, good. It wants me to equip the goggles. Well, fine. No worries. And the uh, mirror goes blank, so that was interesting. Hi, creepy mask guy. Uh, you wouldn't, um, happen to, you know, be telling me the solution? Perhaps? No? Anyone? Anyone else? No? Okay. Alright, let's just check what's beyond door number two. Now, something tells me this game is a lot longer than I anticipated. I thought I was just gonna breeze through this in, like, half an hour or something. 
and uh, just have a bit of fun with it. Uh, it would appear that we are now finally learning about the um, uh, the other people. Hey, it's a plate with a circular dial. Really cool. We might need that. Um, uh, learning about the other characters. Um, Bobby, the one who found uh, the prof, was an aspiring fiction writer. Josie was helping them. And uh, again, Josie is clearly the professor's daughter. Um, not that uh, the protagonist here has made that connection yet. Um, there's the safe, the one that we're supposed to chuck. Except we can't quite do that. Ooh, press uh, goggle. Goggle time. Hello? Hello? Anyone? Hi! Um, that's, um, how do you do that, first of all? Are you fucking Spider-Man? And second, um, that's a bit creepy. You really should stop doing that. I see the fucking piece of paper with you. Uh. Okay, the, uh, controls are fighting me now. Hey, Bullard, I'm Woodcutter, I know your secret. James Lowry sends his regards. Who in the shit is James Lowry? This Woodcutter character is my prime suspect. I bet his blackmail scheme went south, so he killed Bullard. Ah, uh, stop putting theories into my head, please. I, except I, I'm pretty sure you're right, but... James Lowry and Harris Bullard, USS Essex. Okay, cool. Uh, you get up there? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm gonna just leave. Hello? Anyone? Everyone good? Good. Okay, what you got in here? Oh, a small wooden knob for the, um, drawer downstairs. And another page. Today, Dr. Bullard and I build the chassis for his new weather device. It's weird. Da da da. Mama's birthday. I had the nightmare again last night. It's been over a year since I had it last, but it never changes. I've written about it over and over again, but the writing seems to help, so I'll tell you about it again. Blah, 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 blah. Tall man standing over Mama. Blah. Streams. Smoke. Already dead. Something. Someone summons recurring dreams about her mother's death. Cool. Rats, the safe combination isn't here. I'm pretty sure I saw a drawer with a missing knob downstairs, though. Did you really? More games need to employ the use of me. What in the shit? What? Who is that? Yes. Uh, yeah. Exactly. Um. Can I? Uh. Can I do anything? Can I? I'm a fucking leave. I'm a fucking leave. Um. Can I lock the door? Can I? I can't do anything. Hi. Um. That was not very nice of you. Dead end. Did I just take too long? What the fuck happened? But okay, I got ending D. I got um. I got spooked to death by a kabuki monster. So okay, well I did get to the end. So that was dead secret. Uh, cool. Cool little indie slash uh, hidden object. I think this will be this will be quite interesting in VR, and um, you know more 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 games need to use that uh, mirror mechanic because you always see that in horror movies. Someone opens the fucking uh, uh, bathroom uh, uh, little medicine cabinet thing that's got the mirror on it, and uh, then they close it again, and then someone's standing behind them and such, and that always creeps, creeps me the fuck out. And it actually worked pretty good. I got the goosebumps uh, uh, twice in this uh, uh, game. Um, that first uh, shock with the, uh, um, you know, the uh, uh, ghost following you in in the mirror when you went into the hallway again, that was excellent. Got a bit um, hidden objecty uh, at some points, and some of the puzzles were either super easy or uh, it was just a matter of you know clicking on the right hotspot thing. Overall, I think this is a pretty interesting game, and I like the fact that there are different endings. So. Um, I've, I've shown you one ending, and now you have a good excuse to go and pick the game up for yourself and try to find the real ending, see what's in the fucking safe, uh, and see if you can't just chuck it out a fucking window and just bolt for it, um, and try not to get killed by the Kabuki monster. I'm gonna leave a link to the um, uh, Steam page in the description of this video, and uh, yeah, 
I got something cool coming up for uh, Wednesdays, but um, still in the planning stages for that right now, so I'm just going to keep doing one-off games until such time as we are ready to unveil it. Uh, spoiler, it's another co-commentary thing, and I've already spoiled the shit out of it on Twitter, so uh, if you're following me on Twitter, you know what's coming. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for watching this. Please like, subscribe, do whatever your kids do, but do leave me a comment because I really love the comments. And, um, well, thanks for watching. I'll see you around the Chrono stream.